what is going on youtube gabriel say aka the truth when you build my workout episode three which is back today and is brought to you by jake fletcher this is how it's going to start every single week i'm going to show you my physique i'm going to weigh in we're going to hit a workout which is sent by different people and i'll explain why i've changed certain bits or if i've kept it the same working that mind muscle connection before heading home for post-workout meal currently weighing in at 211 pounds melodic dubstep in my ear so let's get this workout cracking so this first exercise is just a warm-up this is what i do to just warm up the whole of my back and i call it the three-way because everybody needs a three-way in their life and everybody loves a three-way you know what i'm saying you know anyway this just gets all the blood moving in all parts of the back i feel um, working the mid lower and upper just get the blood flowing ready for the carnage now jake sent me his workout which was pretty good i was i was quite impressed with it it was j just a very simple one but work the right rep ranges so t-bar row four sets of 12 cable row three sets of 12 single arm lap pull three sets of 12 and then pull-ups three sets of 12. now while this footage is playing i'm going to tell you why i changed it to what you're seeing now because as you can see i'm doing a bent over row not the t-bar row for this exercise it was mainly because there's so many other muscles that work when you're doing the bent over row as opposed to the t-bar row uh, it's a good compound movement to start with and i recommend doing a compound movement to start with with every workout anyway but this really focusing on the stretch of the lats and the squeeze it was you know i mean this is only working with all the exercises working with like 50 percent of my one rep max but it was effective and it worked now I went on to this exercise instead of the cable row just for a unilateral feel so to still get a similar slightly similar feeling but with a unilateral feel on it now remember guys when you're doing any back exercise suicide grip suicide grip suicide grip suicide grip take your forearms out of the equation it will help for better back contraction and you'll thank me later when you're focusing on the mind muscle connection so say we're looking at this exercise here lat pull down you want to imagine on your lat there is a, a beaming red light and the more you think about squeezing it the brighter the light gets the more you focus on that the better the mind muscle connection and i if you see here my wrists are strong you want to pretend as though someone's strapped a splint to your arm so you can't do what most people do and then they get to the bottom and their wrists are bending there's no point in doing that keep your wrist strong and the reason i changed that from what jake sent which was um pull-ups was pull-ups are tough pull-ups ain't no easy thing and because you get tired so quickly form goes out the window very quickly so there's no point in doing it especially as the last exercise i'd rather you stuck to a lat pull down where you can control the weight and you can really focus on the form the leaning back slightly stretching of the lats squeezing of the lats not using your arms too much so that's the reason i changed it for that the seated cable row as you've just seen as it's done it's again focusing on stretching and squeezing so it's not i see a lot of people like pretty much bending their whole spine as if they're doing like a cat stretch or something but it is just letting your shoulders roll forward pin it back and then squeeze and then onto the rear fly i did a few exercises in but just for the rear fly to really hit the upper back make sure your hands are lower than your than your delts when they're higher it normally hits the rear dot but what we want to do is get the middle of the back and then y'all seen this the other day the shrugs lightweight just really focus on the squeeze focus on trying to squeeze a pencil in between the middle of your back and that's it on to the post-workout meal boom 
What's good guys, just about to get my post-workout meal. I hope all the information that I put in the, on the commentary was helpful. But I'm just about to have some fried chicken, some basmati rice, and some veg. But yeah, not like fried, deep fried chicken. We just purchased this beauty. Oh. So check this out, this is an air fryer. We got it from Aldi, right? So I just got some chicken breast, coated it in some seasoned flour, um, some egg and then seasoned flour, and it comes out like this. Check that out. That's like proper KFC style chicken, baby. And then the seasoning that I put inside it, in the flour was um, this jerk seasoning, but it's bad. It tastes so good. It tastes so good and it's so moist timer on it and everything so it doesn't overcook it doesn't dry out if they still got them at Audi get your hands on one of them it was 30 pound from Audi <laughs> no brainer we, we saw it we got it but yeah I'm gonna play up then I'll show you exactly what I've got so here it is check out this bad boy got the fried chicken pieces or air fried chicken pieces got some spinach basmati rice and then I made this Oh, some more chicken's ready. And then I made this tomato sauce from scratch. I don't really like using tomato sauces from like that pre-made ones. I like to make it myself so I know exactly what's in it. I'm gonna chow down. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Next week, stay tuned. It's gonna be a different body part, still in the mind muscle section. So check it out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.